there came a time, many ages past, when the Almighty Creator conceived the idea of a new world, a perfect world. He took aside the two wisest and most powerful Sadya, Ormazd and Ariman, and asked them each to devise a plan for this world's construction and management. He directed them to create the world with him and to breathe life into it. The Creator studied each plan methodically, and Ormazd's plan best reflected the Creator's will. The remaining Sadya assisted in the creation of the new world, which was named Khaldun. They would be responsible for watching over the powerful forces that sustained Khaldun. Ariman immersed himself in the creation of these forces. Ormazd set himself to the task of creating the Kohan, immortal beings bestowed with the grace of divine power. The Kohan tended their world and their culture blossomed, but beneath the gilded magnificence of Khaldun society, sinister underground forces were at work. The great cataclysm annihilated the towering grandeur of Khaldun. The immortal Kohan were eclipsed by the shadow, devoured by the evil they had fought so courageously to subdue. Refugees from a very destructive war have fled their homelands and now seek a quiet place to build new lives. You must guide these pioneers through this land and help them build a new home. Please try to follow the directions as accurately as possible. If you miss a story piece, click on the quest lore to see previous stories. What you see before you is a group of hungry and tired people who have fled from war and famine in their homeland to find a new and better place to live. They have a small amount of gold, but as you can see, they are using it up as we speak. You must help guide them to a safe place to settle a village. Press OK to continue. To select the settlers, move your cursor over the shield-shaped banner and click on it. The settlers should be highlighted in green when you do this. Go ahead and select them. At your command. Good. The settlers are now selected. We need to move them to find a spot to settle. There should be some place suitable nearby. Press OK to continue. OK. Now click on the Move button in the Command button array. Your cursor will change to a Move cursor. Now select a spot on the right edge of the screen and click there. No problem. You can also issue a move command by right-clicking on the map when a company is selected. No problem. Here we are. Now doesn't this look like the perfect place to settle a new village? One of the buttons in the command button array is flashing. This is the special action menu button. Clicking on it will access the special commands that you can give to a settler company. Go ahead and click the button now. Now you should see the special command buttons the Settler Company has. One of them is flashing. This is the Settle Command button. Go ahead and click it now. Good work. Your cursor should now have taken on the image of a village. The cursor will turn red over any area that you are not allowed to place the village. Go ahead and place the village over the small dirt patch in the center of the clearing. Make sure your settlers are not standing where you wish to build. Click to settle your new village. The moment you do, a panel will pop up asking you to name the village. Please type in the name Garland. No problem. The settlers should now be very busy building their new home. When they finish, they will disband the settler company and enter the village. If you wish to speed up the process, 
feel free to hit the F4 key a few times to increase the flow of time. The F3 key will slow time back down again. All right, everything has gone very well. As you can see, the village is now active in producing plus six gold. The settler company is gone, so it is no longer draining the economy. The good people of Garland are on their way to having a prosperous and peaceful life here. Press OK to continue. The next step in ensuring Garland's continued success is establishing a resource trade in the village. I would like you to build a wood mill in Garland. Wood is a very useful commodity and can be used to help Garland grow and equip soldiers to protect Garland's interest. Let's get started. Go ahead and select Garland by clicking on it. Good. Now you see before you the settlement interface. At the bottom of the screen you should see a flashing button. This is the build button. Click on it to bring up the component panel. All right, now the component panel is up. Move the cursor over the woodmill icon. You will see that this brings up a short description about the woodmill. Now click on the icon. This will begin the construction of the woodmill. Okay, the woodmill is now being built. You can monitor its progress by looking at the status box on the bottom right of the settlement display. There you will see a progress bar showing how close to finished the current construction is. Good work. What you have witnessed was the birth of Garland, the town you now inhabit. As Darius, the Kohan immortal hero, you will nurture Garland and establish your first kingdom in this small section of land. The first tutorial scenario is complete. The settlers have found a perfect spot and Garland is poised to grow into an industrious population center. You have done well by the refugees who were counting on you. You have newly awakened as the hero Darius and realized that a great evil is poised to descend upon this world. You must prepare, and to do this Garland needs to prosper. Clear away all hostile creatures that are a threat to the safety of your village. You have much to learn and now that you are in control of Garland, many far-reaching events have been set in motion. Garland must be prepared, and you as well, Darius. I hope you are up to the challenge. Press OK to continue. First thing to do is to expand Garland beyond its village constraints. Please select it right now. Now that Garland is selected, take a look at the settlement interface. You will see that Garland only has one component slot and it is occupied by the woodmill. To get more slots to open up, Garland must be upgraded to a town. To do this, you simply need to click on the Upgrade button, which should be flashing right now. Click it now. Good. Now Garland has begun the process of upgrading. Note how the progress is displayed in the same manner as building a component within the settlement. Unlike components, upgrading a settlement often has requirements to be met before the upgrade can begin. In this case, you needed 110 gold and one component of which you had both. Later upgrades will require more components, more gold, and possibly an upgraded component. All right, Garland has reached the town level of development. Note how its graphic has changed on the map and that there are two more component slots available. One more thing to note is that you are now receiving plus 12 gold per minute in taxes rather than plus 6. Press OK to continue. Garland needs to be protected and there are rumors of monsters lurking about in the woods to the east. To protect Garland, you need to learn how to commission a company. Press OK to continue. The company creation screen is a large drag and drop interface that lets you build companies of all types. Available units are shown in full color, others are grayed out. I want you to make a company of six footmen. You will need to click and drag the footman icon into the front line slot and both support slots. This will create a full company of footmen. 
Press OK to continue. The last thing you can do if you wish is to make yourself, Darius, the captain of the company. You are listed in the hero row of units and can only be put into the captain slot. Okay, now go ahead and click on the Recruit Company button. Once your company is ready, click the button labeled Commission. Good work. You now have a new company of footmen to command. As you can see, they start with you and one footman unit. That unit will fill up with health and when full, the next unit will appear. The front line will be filled first, then the support slots. But this will only occur so long as they stay in supply. Press OK to continue. What is supply, you ask? Supply is one of the most important concepts you need to understand. All companies need to be in supply to heal up and regain lost troops. Supply radiates out from settlements, the distance depending on the level of development. To see Garland's supply zone, click on the Show Supply Zones button. It should be flashing right now. Good. You should now see a large white area centered around Garland. That is Garland's supply zone. So long as your companies stay within that area, they will continue to recruit and resupply. When your company is complete, you need to send them south of the town. I want you to make sure there are no threats to the south. We wouldn't want the town attacked while you are scouting east. The Kohan will return to their glory. Well, there doesn't seem to be any monsters nearby, but you have stumbled across a valuable resource. This is an iron mine and can provide your kingdom with a generous amount of iron resources. I will show you how to exploit this resource soon enough, but for now we still have to ensure the safety of Garland. Press OK to continue. I want you to head back up to Garland, then veer straight east. There is a grass path through the forest that leads to a nearby village, but every scout sent never returned. You need to clear this path of any dangers. One more step towards victory. One more step towards victory. One more step towards victory. I will not let my people down. I want you to pause for a moment. Stop your company if they are still moving. I want you to note how the company banner is flashing white right now. It should have started when your company left the supply zone. This flashing indicates that your company is now out of supply and will not resupply when hurt. Go ahead and continue east. I will not let my people down. Those were very odd creatures indeed, my lord. Very violent and obviously the cause of all troubles along this path. Tracks indicate they came from the south, just beyond the mountains. We should investigate the possibility of more of these creatures living nearby. If they have a lair, we should destroy it. One more step towards victory. I will not let my people down. One more step towards victory. One more step towards victory. <laughs> This must have been where the creatures originated. To destroy the nest, click on the attack button, then click on the nest. The attack button should be flashing. One more step towards victory. You have done well. Your people will have safe passage east now and relations can be opened up with those living in that direction. You are now ready to move on to the next tutorial. Good work. The east passage is clear of danger and you have experienced company versus company combat for the first time. You should be ready to face any further conflict that may arise.
Garland is a safe haven once more and has grown into a prominent town. To continue to grow and develop, the resources you have so recently found must be mined and more structures must be built within the town. All right, now that the area is secure of monsters and other threats, we can turn our attention to the iron deposit in the south and expanding the town again. In order to gain control of the iron deposit, you will need to build a mine on it. The only company capable of this is a company with a front line of engineers. Press OK to continue. Companies that have a front line of engineers are called engineering companies. Engineering companies are capable of various special actions, one of which is the construction of mines on resource deposits. Engineer units can only be built once your settlement has a quarry, so that is the first thing you need to do. Go ahead and select Garland. OK, you need to pop up the component panel again. Click on one of the empty component slots arranged next to the woodmill icon. As you can see, this action is another way to bring up the component panel. The quarry icon is flashing. Click on it to start building a quarry. Good, now the quarry is being constructed. Once it is finished, the engineer unit will be filled in as an available unit on the company creation screen. Press OK to continue. Before you commission the engineers, I want you to get rid of the footman company. One company is enough to manage for now. To get rid of a company you no longer need or can't afford, you can disband them. Select the footman now. Yes, my lord. Okay, the first thing to do is pop up the company panel. This is done by clicking on the image of the company banner, which should be flashing right now. Now that the company panel is up, take a moment to familiarize yourself with the information displayed here. You can always use this panel to find more detailed information about any company you control. When you are done, press OK to continue. You should have noticed the disband button at the bottom of the panel. If you didn't, it is the button that is currently flashing. Go ahead and click this button to disband the footman. Good work. The footman company has been disbanded. It is now safe to commission an engineer company. Go ahead and do that now. But do not put yourself, Darius, in command of this company. We will need you to fill another role. All right, you have your engineers recruiting as I speak. While they are doing that, I want you to go ahead and build a blacksmith in Garland filling up its last component slot. The blacksmith is being built and the engineers are close to being fully recruited. Once they are, select them and move them near the iron deposit in the south. At the ready. As you wish. As you wish. Okay, they are in position. Click on the Special Action Menu button. It is currently flashing in case you forgot which one it was. Now you should see a new button flashing. That is the Build Mine button. Go ahead and click it. You should now see a Build Cursor instead of your normal cursor. Move it over the Iron Deposit and click on it. Your engineers should begin building a mine on the resource. It won't take long, so let's wait for them to finish. As you wish. Good. The engineers are finished and you have a new iron mine under your control. There seems to be a problem though. The mine is flashing white. This indicates that the mine is out of supply. Mines need to be within a supply zone to provide their resources to the kingdom. Press OK to continue. You won't see any benefit from the mine until you expand Garland's supply zone. Not to worry for that is the first thing you will do in the next tutorial. This mission is complete, and you have done well. Things are going well. You have learned the basics of constructing and using engineering companies and managed to capture a valuable resource for Garland. 
There are rumors of trouble brewing in the east, but you have more pressing matters to attend to. Your mine is out of supply, and Garland must grow to accommodate its new prosperity. Once Garland has been taken care of, you can turn your attentions to the east. All right, let's pick up where we left off in the last scenario. You have a mine just barely out of supply to your south. You need to get that mine in supply to reap the benefits of the extra iron it will provide. To do this, all you need to do is upgrade Garland another level. Go ahead and select Garland now. Now that Garland is selected, pass your cursor over the Upgrade button. This will show you the requirements needed to reach the city level of development. Luckily, you have been moving toward this goal and have met all of the requirements. Go ahead and upgrade Garland now. We should wait until the upgrade is complete before moving on. Garland has reached the city level of development. As you should now see, the iron mine is no longer flashing white and your iron income has increased by plus 10 iron. You might as well take advantage of this bounty and commission another company to help defend Garland. Press OK to continue. You can afford units a little tougher than the footmen you had previously. I suggest you commission a full company of infantry. This way you won't go negative in wood production and you will still have a large positive iron production left over. Go ahead and commission the infantry and include yourself as their captain. Now that you have a company of infantry on the way you can turn back to your economy. You still have a large surplus of iron and you should turn that to your advantage. To do that, you will need to build an iron export. Press OK to continue. Ensure that you have Garland selected. Now click on the blacksmith component icon. You should now be looking at a panel very similar to the build component panel. In this panel though, the upgrades to the blacksmith are listed. The one you want is the iron export, which will sell five iron per minute to net your kingdom an additional plus 15 gold. It is the one flashing now. Click it to upgrade the blacksmith. The blacksmith will soon be converted to an iron export. When upgrading any component, the upgrade replaces the original component. Some will enhance what the component did, others will provide altogether different benefits. Press OK to continue. We have just received word that a village down the grass path to the east has come under attack. Brigands and bandit mercenaries are raiding the village causing untold damage. Their messenger pleads for our help. It would be wise to send the infantry east to drive off the bandits. Move them as soon as they are full health. May the Creator shelter us all. I will not let my people down. I will not let my people down. I will not let my people down. One more step towards victory. One more step towards victory. I will not let my people down. I will not let my people down. After a pitched battle, you have defeated the brigand army. It is surprising that they fought to the death. They must have been desperate for pillage. If they are that desperate and there are more of them out there, this village will need further protection. It would also serve to repair the damage done by the brigands. Press OK to continue. Select your engineers and move them over to Verena. To get them there faster, change their formation to pressed column. It is the flashing formation button. At the ready. As you wish. As you wish.
Okay. The engineers are in position. Access the special action menu. The button you see flashing is the repair button. Click it. Then when the cursor changes, click on the village. Your engineers will move to the village and begin to repair it. Wait until they have fully repaired the village. As you wish. Thank you so much, my lord. We were certain that if help did not arrive, the brigands would overrun our village and destroy any chance of us surviving. Your assistance is a gift from the Creator. Verena is at your service. Anything you request of us will be granted. Press OK to continue. You have done very well. Verena has joined your cause and you have a small but strong military force to command. It is time to move on to the next scenario and discover what awaits. You have saved Verena from attack and gained their loyalty. You've also learned more about engineers and upgrading both components and settlements. You are almost ready for the conflict that lies ahead. Verena has joined your cause, but you must protect this new village. The source of the bandit attacks must be found and defenses laid to the east to prevent further incursions. Your engineers have some work to do. Welcome back. It is time to put your efforts toward a new task. The threat of more brigands still hangs over the good people of Verena. You are going to have to take some precautions to prevent another raid. Press OK to continue. Scouts have surveyed the path east and have learned that it enters a narrow pass between two mountain ranges. This passage needs to be put under guard. This will ensure the safety of all villages west of the pass. The best way to accomplish this is to build an outpost at the entrance of the pass. Press OK to continue. Outposts are small forts that contain a militia force. They are excellent at guarding a small area and also provide supply to friendly troops that stop to rest nearby. Outposts are built by engineers. Lucky for you, a company of engineers is ready and waiting for you. Select the engineers now. At the ready. OK. Now let's move those engineers east to the mouth of the pass. As you wish. All right, here we are. You need to place an outpost in a good place that will cover the pass and still be somewhat protected. That patch of flowers would be the perfect spot. The outpost militia will be able to fight from the cover of the woods and the outpost guard zone covers most of the pass. Press OK to continue. Access the Engineer's Special Action Menu. You should be familiar with it by now. The flashing button is the Build Outpost button. Click on it, and when your cursor changes to that of an outpost icon, click on the middle of the flower patch. The engineers should begin construction on a new outpost. We will wait until they are finished. As you wish. Good work. The new outpost now guards the mountain pass and has uncovered another resource for you to exploit. Nearby is an ironwood grove. Make sure your engineers are selected and right-click on the resource. This will initiate a build mine command on the ironwood grove. At the ready. As you wish. Now that you have the ironwood grove under control, you can turn your attention back to the village. After sorting out what happened, it has become clear that the brigands came from the south. There is likely to be a camp of some sort south of the village. You need to find it and clear it away. Press OK to continue. Select your infantry and send them south of Verena. The brigands would probably have set up camp in a clearing or the hills, so keep an eye out for a likely spot. Our work is never done. I will not let my people down. I 
I will not let my people down. Kohan will return to their glory. I will not let my people down. That must have been the main camp the brigands ran their raids out of. Now that it is destroyed, there should be no more worries about brigands and bandits attacking Verena. It is time to turn back north. Strange rumors have arrived in Verena. Press OK to continue. Gohan Lord, some villagers that had been surveying the mountains northeast of the village have returned with odd tales of a great ruined city filled with strange demons. It is said to lie along the base of the northern range. I believe your engineers are fairly close to the spot. Press OK to continue. OK, select your engineers and head them north around the western side of the mountain range. Search the area near the mountains to see if you can uncover this lost city. At the ready. As you wish. As you wish. As you wish. As you wish. Nice work. The engineers managed to locate the ruins and defeated the flying demons that were inhabiting it. Not only that, but you have netted yourself a Kohan amulet that had been buried in the ruins. Press OK to continue. What you need to do now is awaken the new hero. To do this, you first need to click on the Hero Lore button, which is flashing now. The Hero Lore is a listing of all the heroes and amulets available in your kingdom. Heroes that have not been awakened yet appear in amulet form. You should see yourself and one amulet in the panel. Clicking on the amulet will bring up the hero display on the left. Go ahead and do that now. This is the hero display where more detailed information can be found about a hero. This hero is still in the amulet though and must be awakened. The button to do this is at the bottom of the panel. The cost to awaken is listed above it. Click on the button and see who it is that you have. Good. The hero's name is Dylan Garwood. Now that he is awake, you can move on to your final tasks. This scenario is at an end. Nice work. The area is safe and secure, and you have learned all of the essentials about engineers now. You even managed to snag yourself another Kohan hero. He will be very useful in the coming scenario. The Western lands under your control are safe, but for how long? The forces of the Shadow are marshalling in the east beyond the mountain pass. You must confront these tyrants before they pour forth and claim your lands for the Dark Masters. You have been doing very well. There is only one task left before you. Just beyond the mountain pass lies a small army led by men who worship the shadow. They are a vile and dangerous sort, communing with creatures not welcome on Khaldun. You must defeat this army and liberate the town they have enslaved. Press OK to continue. Since the previous mission, I have taken the liberty of preparing Garland for this fight. Garland now has a barracks and a temple within it, and your companies have been recommissioned with new configurations. Take a moment to select each one and review their attributes. When you are finished, select Garland. As you can see, Garland now has a barracks and temple. These components are what made the more advanced units available. But as you can also see, your kingdom is now negative in iron, which means your iron export is no longer profitable. You need to sell it and rebuild the blacksmith. Luckily, selling the upgrade will more than pay for replacing the blacksmith. Press OK to continue. Click on the iron export to bring up the upgrade panel. 
At the bottom of the panel is a sell button. It should be flashing. Click this now to sell the iron export. Good. Another way to sell components is to click on the sell button at the bottom of the interface and click the sell cursor on any component. Okay, you still need to rebuild the blacksmith. Go ahead and construct a blacksmith. Since you are also low on wood, you might want to upgrade your wood mill as well. When you are done, select the company Darius leads. The army is stationed around Verena. You must make sure the mountain pass is clear all the way through. Your company is the most powerful and should be sent ahead as the vanguard to sweep the path clear. Move the company into the pass. One more step towards victory. The mountain pass is fairly narrow. To keep the company together, switch to column formation. This will change the marching arrangement of the company and increase their speed and maneuverability. Unfortunately, this also reduces their combat effectiveness, so they will be at a slight disadvantage when they first engage the enemy. Move the company to the end of the pass in column formation. I will not let my people down. One more step towards victory. One more step towards victory. I will not let my people down. One more step towards victory. <laughs> It was a good thing you sent the vanguard in first. Otherwise, multiple companies would have become bottled up in the pass and units may have been lost to weaker enemies. As it is, your company was strong enough to defeat the patrol even from column formation. It has been weakened though and you should return it to the outpost to heal up. Press OK to continue. Go ahead and send them back to the outpost. Use pressed formation. This formation is similar to Column, but the company is pushed to move Cohen faster. Their, their combat glory. value will be even worse, and they will lose a small amount of morale. But the path is clear, so that is fine. I will not let my people down. I will not let my people down. Okay, they are back in supply. Let's leave them alone for a moment to resupply. Reports have come in that a neutral village lies south of here where the mountains are cut by a river. They refuse all political offers, not understanding the danger they are in without your protection. Press OK to continue. Though it is not the preferable path, you are going to have to take the village by force to ensure its safety. Any village not under your banner here is fair game for those who follow the shadow. Select your infantry company, led by Dylan and head them south of the outpost along the mountains to find the village. Always ready for action. I am on it. I am on it. I am on it. For the glory of the Creator. I am on it. For the glory of the Creator, I am on it. I am on it. I am on it. There is the village. Since they are neutral to your kingdom, you must initiate the attack. Click on the attack button, then click on the village with the attack cursor. This will declare war on the village and begin the siege. For the glory of the Creator. Uh, 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 
The village is now under your control. Normally you would like to repair a captured settlement with nearby engineers. Since you don't have the luxury of that right now, you must leave it damaged. Head the infantry back to the outpost. It is almost time to begin the attack. For the glory of the Creator. I am on it. Okay, the infantry have returned. Luckily, they took little damage from the village's militia and don't need to rest long. Once everyone is resupplied and ready to go, send them through the pass in column formation. To make it easier, click and drag your cursor to create a selection box that encompasses all the companies, at least one unit in each. This will allow you to command the companies as a group. Move the entire group as one, if you wish. At your command. For the glory of the Creator, I am on it. Okay, the first of your companies has left the pass. Stop and gather your companies in a group. The enemy's army is southeast of your position. Before sending them in, you should make sure all the companies are in combat formation, the formation flashing now. This formation is slow, but keeps combat efficiency at a maximum and forms the frontline units into a combat line protecting the support units. Once they are all set, send them southeast. For the glory of the Creator. May the Creator shelter us all. I will not let my people At your down. command. Always ready for action. For the glory of the Creator. At your command. No problem. Always ready for action. The Kohan will return to their glory. I will not let my people down. Our work is never done. I will not let my people down. I will not let my people down. One more step towards victory. I will not let my people down. I will not let my people down. You have engaged the enemy. In this fight you are up against both Shadow and Meriton. Unlike the Shadow units, the Meriton companies may flee from battle before being destroyed. One of your companies may do so as well. This is called routing and helps protect a company from total destruction. Once the army is defeated, capture the city. One more step towards victory. One more step towards victory. I will not let my people down. I will not let my people down. One more step towards victory. I will not let my people down. One more step towards victory. I will not let my people down. Oh. 
Great job. You have defeated the army and captured the town. The people of this land have been freed from the tyranny of the Shadow. You have done well and earned the title Kohan Lord. Congratulations! You have liberated this land from the threat of the Shadow, and Darius can now move on to begin his quest to return the Kohan to their former glory. Dylan will stay behind and ensure Garland and the surrounding settlements stay safe and continue to support Darius's quest. This concludes the basic tutorial.